I had to stop and refuel. Got my six fingers in direct video. Homemade sub. Man, this thing is so awesome. Oh, yeah. Peace. Be sure to check out some of my latest videos. One of my latest videos is the infamous comic book haul. You also have NECA Jason Voorhees. You also have the NECA Ultimate Michael Myers Halloween. And scroll down and watch some of my other videos like Giant Size Funko Pops. You girls and guys be safe out there and I will catch you later. Peace. Hey, what's up, combo but peace. Welcome to another episode of Direct Edition, the Challenge for a Hall Direct Edition. Let's go ahead and light up the background. Come on, light it up. Don't make me look silly. There we go. And uh, these are just some giant... These are uh, where the regular size Funko Pop is probably like smaller. So this is like the 6 inch Funko Pops. So they're big. And uh, yeah, Tad, I did see the Andre the Giant one. So I'm going to get him. And I also seen a giant, thing, a giant thing that I might get. Which is like twice the size as big as these. The giant size Pops are huge. But that's not why you came here today. You came here today for something else, right? Alright, let's do this. And this episode of Direct Edition is brought to you by... Let's Buy Kimmy, Thanos Funko Pop, and also... My fake Darth Maul from China! He's been missing from a couple of videos because I've just been going straight at it, but uh... He's here now. Uh, you know how we do on this channel. Let's get into some comic book stuff. And here she is, guys and girls. I'm extremely excited about this one. I've just um, got into the Diamond Select Gallery uh, statues. I have about, what, three of them in the dungeon. And this is my fourth one. I soon have well, three more to come. Uh, it's going to be probably like next month or so. Uh, but we're almost out of this month, so I can't wait for those to come. You know, Amazon has been uh, pushing back orders because of the coronavirus. But, man, uh, finally got... Um, a, a Supergirl statue or another statue. And my brother Samuel Trejo. This one's definitely coming out of the box. So let's look at the box right quick. Not much to see. Yeah, well, there's a couple things to see. Yeah, Supergirl GC logo on top. Window box. Um, I think these look better displayed out of the package. Side window box. Back, there's a big synopsis. We're not going to read all that. Um, you guys go ahead and you can um, pause it. And read it because it's very long. Well, you know, it's not that long. Let's do it. Teenage Kyla zor uh, was rocketed to Earth from a dying planet, uh, Krypton. Faced with the entire world um, completely unrecognizable from the one she grew up in, she is the ultimate new girl in school. With the planet spit, uh, splitting right hook, the lonely girl uh, with astounding might, she struggles uh, to find her identity in her new reluctant home. As much... As as a most as the most powerful teenager on the planet, the girl of steel possesses all the powers of Superman, from super strength, speed, and vulnerability, all the way down to his flight and enhanced sense. But she's actually stronger than her cousin. Um, and you can look that up. This PBC diorama Supergirl is based on the appearance of DC Comics in the cast of the highly and uh, cast in a highly quality plastic that features collectible quality and paint applications. Designer Caesar, sculpted by James uh, Marsano. So, alright. It looks very good. Let's get her out of the package. You ready? I know y'all shocked, but I do break my statues out of the packs. Let's go. Wow, and here she is fresh out of the package. This is absolutely awesome. Let's dim the lights so you can see her better. The detail on her is just awesome. She's very Wow, I'm so happy with this purchase. The only thing is, I'm a little scared she's going to rock forward, but she's very easily rocked forward, but very awesome. Hold up, did they actually... Give me one second, let me see something. Okay, yeah, so let's go ahead and light her back up. Okay, so yeah, it's very detailed, very awesome. Um, I don't have any complaints about the statue. And for this statue to actually be... Of the cheaper price, like 40 to $50, it's very nice. The base is very nice. This reminds me of the Sideshow Collectible Phoenix. Um, look at the cape. Look at the ripples in the cape. Just awesome. And I like these statues because if they fall, uh, there's not going to be a break. You know what I'm saying? Not, not, not necessarily. Look up the skirt. Yeah, you got a little bit of booty. You got a little bit of uh, sunshine showing. Um, but still classy. You know, the leg is not attached to the other leg, so it's very... Uh, movable 
I mean, I, I don't have any complaints about the statue. This is just so awesome. She's snapping the chains, the hair, the chains. Look at the chains they move. So see, like I said, if it uh, falls, I have no problem. I can't wait till my other three statues get in. And you know, I'm noticing that I like the statues more of the female statues instead of the male statues, but wow, this is so awesome. So awesome. Uh, awesomeness can't describe how satisfied I am with this product. Like, it, it really can't. It, I really can't explain to you how happy I am to have this. Very detailed, very nice. It's awesome. The skirt, got the skirt ripples and falls. The boots, the fire. Wow. Diamond Select, you won me over with your statues, because this is awesome. I, I I hear bad reviews on the statues. Look, just look at the body and how skinny and just uh, in shape and molded. And the cut of the shirt, the cut of the skirt. No, I don't see anything wrong. The paint apps are just awesome. The cape. You know, this is just... Wow, a lot of sexy opinions interrupt your video. Just wow. It almost looks real light. Almost realistic. So yeah, Diamond Select has won me over with their statues. I've heard um, a lot of bad reviews on some of the statues. Especially like the Joker one that just came out. I heard that he looks nothing like Heath Ledger. And stuff like that, but um, I'm very selective with the statues I buy from them. But this one was definitely a must grab because I'm, I am a Supergirl fan. Uh, but the statue really, really uh, won me over. You know, she's not the first one I'll run to all the time, but yeah, the statue is awesome. So let's light it back up. The light actually takes away from the detail, but you know, it's 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 very cool. So there you have it. Did you guys like the statue? I I, I love it. I really do love it. I love it. It's very nice. It's going to be very nice on my display uh, stand. Very cool. Very detailed. Alright, let's do this. Stand up, baby girl. This, uh, this is awesome. I, I really enjoy this. Uh, I've been waiting to uh, get her out since I got her home. Alright, you guys ready? Alright, let's do this. And so, once again, I'd like to thank you guys and girls for tuning in to another episode of Direct Edition, the Channel's Fair Hall Direct Edition. Remember, words of wisdom, focus on the ones that show you love and on the ones that don't show you love. Hey, we're just going to keep it rolling without them. The name of the channel is Fair Hall Direct Edition. I will catch you girls and guys later. Be safe out there. Wash your hands, wear your mask, and also wear your gloves. Peace.